Well, 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 look who's back. I thought I would do an ode to where it all began, my aesthetics video. Now I haven't exactly got much more clothes since or drastically changed my style, but I was in the mood to dress up as some various alter egos I've been floating through my head recently, so let's go. First up, we have brown. Brown, that's it, that's the whole fit. Not inspired by the Ivy League uni, but rather by the amazing glow up that the subpar color brown received in 2020. I used to be so pissed off when my paints would get overmixed and I'd end up with like a sludgy mess, but now brown is the it girl of the color palette. We've got the brown cord flares, originally from Brandy Melville, but I got them off Depop. And another Depop find is my mesh brown zebra top. And of course, a fluffy cow print bag, because what else? I threw on my mum's vintage brown leather blazer and my docks to complete this look and finish off this homage to brown. I have been watching an absurd amount of K-dramas recently. Western TV? Bridgerton? It's not really doing it for me anymore. One of my favourite things though about K-dramas is that everyone is just impeccably dressed 24-7. So I thought I'd create a look inspired by my desire to be that badass cool girl in a drama. I feel like Esau from my Taiwan class might wear this to go out clubbing, but we've got my favourite vintage leather trench coat which I thrifted, and the return of the green neon trousers which are just perfect for a boogie. I also got this patchwork brown mesh top off a Depop seller which did take around 6 weeks to come after she had shipped it but it does give off some excellent good badass vibes. This look we have to dissect. A lot of thinking has gone into this, unlike my dissertation which has had zero thoughts on recently. Anyway, I decided to make one whole look that encapsulates my big astrological three. And if you don't know, I'll say it louder for those in the back, I'm a Cancer Sun, Aqua Moon, Sag Rising. First up, the leather and black details are just giving me Aqua Moon vibes. A little bit detached, rational, a little bit of a lone wolf, but that is immediately countered by my Cancer Sun, who is hyper emotional and sensitive. That's why all the pieces I'm wearing are actually super comfy. This oversized hoodie is perfect for crying alone in, and with the hood up, great for ignoring my friend's advice about toxic men. Now we have my Sag Rising, which comes in very strong, so even though the check trousers and bra are basically glorified loungewear, therefore perfect for a comfy cancer, together they give big Sag energy, free-spirited, confident, ready for a party. This would actually be such a sick festival or rave outfit, but I doubt I'll be attending any of those anytime soon. But there you have it, an astrological personality breakdown through my clothes. If it is not clear already, this girl has spent way too much time listening to Folklore and Evermore and is imagining a cottagecore utopia way out on the west of Ireland. She probably picks her own blackberries to make jam and crumble and writes poetry without using capital letters and by pressing the return key every five words. I just thought that this iron jumper was peak folklore content and I threw on a silk slip underneath for some more feminine vibes. Kind of impractical for running around woods in but perfect for curling up beside a fireplace singing about champagne problems. I just paired it with some converse because I didn't know what other shoes to wear and this would be perfect with like a huge long plaid coat but I unfortunately do not own one. I stole this red one though from Cast Wardrobe which is giving me 2012 Taylor Swift drinking lattes in the fall vibes and kind of matches the red hearts on the shoes as well. Okay, so we've had K-drama character. What about if I was in a girl band? Well, looking at my wardrobe at the minute, I think this is what I'd wear. She's a little bit spacey, a little bit funky, and kind of very monochrome. I don't know which piece is the star of the show because I love them all so much, but this fancy club corset is to die for. It was my most indulgent purchase last year for absolutely no reason other than I decided that I just had to have it. And I know Blackpink actually wore some of their pieces, so we're kind of on brand there. I paired it with my trusty tennis skirt and white patent boots, and for a bit of interesting layering, I wore my Moomy turtleneck underneath, which definitely gives off some like futuristic vibes. 
My life goal for whenever I'm in my 40s or something is to be the cool rich aunt who gets you the best Christmas presents and that is exactly how I feel whenever I wear this fur coat. It was one of my best charity shop finds of 2020. Color, perfect. Length, powerful. Furriness, unmatched. I could put this on top of anything and call it a rich ant look, but I decided to just wear a simple but streamlined, kind of elegant monochrome ensemble underneath. Maybe I will look like this whenever I'm a successful art dealer. We can only manifest. Okay, so you know that TikTok I can't talk right now? I'm doing hot girl shit. Well, this is what I mentally think I'm wearing when I'm doing said hot girl shit. The baby blue velour screams badass, getting what I want, living for my highest self whilst having fun, and I'm just really hope that those are the vibes I'm bringing into this year. I know nothing much has changed since 2020, and honestly 2021 is off to a rocky start, but mentally I'm on this level. I am dressed, ready, waiting for good things to happen, and I hope the universe is ready to respond. So on that note guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as the builders across the street enjoyed watching me get changed and awkwardly dance in front of a camera every five minutes. In the meantime, sending lots of love and I'll talk to you guys next week.